Hey guys, Andrew Esquivel here back with another tutorial and today we're going to be talking about how to fix when your air pump is not pumping enough air to your air stone or other airline accessories inside of your fish tank. Now, for this repair we're going to be using the Tetra Whisper 60 model. This is a dual output, dual diaphragm system, meaning that it has two separate diaphragms allowing for independent function of each other on the outputs. Now, in this particular case, you'll see that there are very few bubbles coming out of this air stone. And this accounts for the right diaphragm in the air pump, but over here, there are tons of air bubbles. Now, diaphragms inside of air pumps do go bad over time, and they will need to be replaced eventually no matter what air pump you have. That being said, one thing I really like about Tetra is they've been very, very good to me when it comes to replacement parts. Yes, they do sell the Whisper Series diaphragm repair kit uh, as a purchase, purchasable uh, product, but if you contact customer support and just explain the situation that you've had the air pump for a little while and it's just not you know functioning properly and you're pretty sure it's the diaphragm or something like that they're generally pretty generous about just sending you the replacement repair kit for free they've done this for me several times because i own a bunch of them i got one over here i got one over there i got two over there i've got one over there i'm a big fan of the tetra whisper series air pumps they do a great job and tetra customer support is pretty pretty good so I have no intention of switching to any other brand anytime soon because, quite frankly, uh, they've, they've come through for me many times. So time for me to come through for them and help explain to you guys how to fix it when everything goes wrong on it. Now, first thing is first, we've got to open up the unit to get to the diaphragm. In this case, there are four Phillips head screws, one, two, three, four. We got to remove that so that we can remove this plate and go from there. All right, so with the four screws removed, <laughs> I should have said it like this, the top piece right here comes off and we are left with the exposed diaphragms. Everything is more or less held in place with friction. So you got some rubber mounts right here and right here is where we have a magnet that reacts to this uh, electrical component right here that pushes the diaphragm back and forth which is what allows the air to come out. Now we just pull this up and that releases it from its friction housing and then, you have to bear with me here, we can push it over to the left and remove the diaphragm. There we go. Simple. Now, there are some pieces that come with this. As you can see, there are new gaskets. This plastic piece right here, where the diaphragm sits, does indeed slide out as well. This one, you gotta pull up. I'm sorry, get my camera focused. You pull up, and it comes right out. And these black pieces right here are the rubber gaskets that you're going to replace. Now, in the new kit that they give you, it comes with the diaphragm and this plastic piece. You'll notice that the rubber gaskets are not already pre-attached to this plastic piece. So we take the appropriate sized rubber gaskets and place them into the plastic piece. It's all very <laughs> straightforward really, although doing it with one hand is a little tedious. And once we have all that in there, we should be good to slide it back in place. Alright, so I have just slid the new diaphragm set into place. Make sure all the gaskets are in properly and they didn't accidentally come loose a little bit as you put it in and we should even be able to hook this up just the way it is right now without putting the top piece back on 
just to ensure that everything works and I can show you how everything functions as it's running now. Okay, so as you can see we now get a ton of bubbles out of both sides on this air pump and I only needed to replace the one diaphragm. Now if you look very closely you'll see, and I bet even the camera can't really keep up with this, these parts right here are shaking so fast that uh, it looks like they're in two places at once but that shaking is pushing the diaphragm back and forth rapidly forcing air out of the tube all the way down through the air stone so that is how you fix your tetra whisper air pump pretty simple all at this point you gotta do is screw the top piece back on so you got the rubber feet to help silence out the noise Thanks for watching guys, hope this video tutorial helped.